Hey kids, welcome to module four, lesson 16, problem set. And the objective today uh, is on the bottom of your page here. Solve word problems using tape diagrams and fraction by fraction multiplication. So, oh, and it was super blurry and now it's clear and so you can see it, but it's already in your book. So anytime you forget what the objective is, just take a look down there. Anyhow, the important thing is that we're gonna use tape diagrams today. And it's funny because when I'm checking students' work and they come over and they're like, you know, I'm really stuck on this problem. I'm not sure what to do. And I see that they have some numbers and there is no tape diagram. I'm like, you know, go back to your seat and really try to put that tape diagram together. I promise it will help you. Tape diagrams are your friend. Do not be afraid of them. So let's get started and see how tape diagrams can help your life be better. Okay. Mrs. Onesco made 60 cookies for a bake sale. She sold two thirds of them and gave three fourths of the remaining cookies to the students working at the sale. How many cookies did she have left? So we have several different pieces. That's why a tape diagram is the way to go. Make a tape diagram, label the whole 60 cookies. Let's first split it into uh, the, the first big pieces that go, she sold two thirds of them. So two out of three pieces are sold. Okay, they are gone. Now she gave three fourths of the remaining. Now if you wanna put a number with that, it's gonna be three fourths of how much is remaining? One third. So it's, it shouldn't be hard once you get that tape diagram made because we're, we're really just trying to make a picture of what we're working with. So three fourths of the remaining cookies to the students. So how many cookies go to the students so that we can find out how many cookies are left? Okay, those are the two sections in here. So three fourths of one third. Notice that I'm gonna take my one third and I'm gonna divide it into fourths. If you wanna do that, then you can see visually what's happening three out of the four pieces of this third went to the students, and this is what we're searching for. So it's three-fourths of one-third to figure out how many cookies went to the students. Notice you can cross-cancel. You've got your threes here, so then it's one-fourth of this section, and um, that's for how many she gave away. So I'm sorry, i got to label correctly. And so kept one-fourth of one-third kept one-fourth of one-third. And so here is the one-twelfth that we're looking for. Okay, so one-fourth of those are the fraction that's left. So if it says what's the fraction, that would be what's left of the one-third, okay? And then we have this one-fourth of the one-third for the one-twelfth. Now, how many cookies is that? So I have to find what this amount is here, and you can use different colors to kind of section things off. So what is that? Because if I have 12 of these, and I need to have what one of them is out of 60, you can do one-twelfth of 60 to find out the actual number of cookies, okay? Now, when moving these things around, you can switch the 12 under the 60 because of the commutative property, or you can not have to rewrite it and just do the cross-canceling. So 12 goes into 12 one time and into 60 f uh, four times, five times. Wow, I am on a roll. So five over one would be five cookies. And that is how many she has left after giving everybody all their cookies, the selling, the students, and the cookies that are left. Okay, so I hope that is clear for you. Let's do another one. This is Jochum. Jochum is icing 30 cupcakes. Again, tape diagram. He spreads mint icing on one-fifth of the cupcakes and chocolate on half of the remaining. This remaining is gonna be a big factor in how you solve. 
The rest will get vanilla. How many cupcakes have vanilla? So let's go back to the beginning. 30 cupcakes. Okay, label carefully. He spreads mint icing on one fifth. So let's make fifths. And this is mint. Let's just put an M, one fifth, okay, is mint. And then chocolate on half of the remaining. Now, if you have four, okay, then to you can see that literally half of four would be two. So out of the four fifths, half of four fifths, okay, again, cross cancel with the two and the four, and you're gonna have two fifths. That right there is chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Okay, now the next part. The rest will get vanilla icing. How many cupcakes will have vanilla ice cream? Is, not ice cream, vanilla, vanilla. So how many do these two fifths represent in actual cupcakes? So look at the fraction two fifths and then say, okay, well I need to know two fifths of 30. So what's two fifths of 30? Well, you can cross cancel. Again, if you were gonna switch or use the commutative property to move the five and the one, 30 divided by five would be six. And then two times six is 12. Don't forget to multiply that. It's not just six over one, it's two times the six of means multiply. So it would be, how many cupcakes get vanilla? 12 cupcakes have vanilla. Yay sounds delicious. Snack time. Okay, now this one, straighten you out here. This one we have a lot of cheeseburgers. So the Booster Club sells 240 cheeseburgers. Okay, so go ahead and make your tape diagram. You know you're going to have to anyway. So 240 cheeseburgers. One fourth of the cheeseburgers had pickles. One half of the remaining burgers had onions and the rest had tomato. How many cheeseburgers had tomato? So we're taking these fractional pieces and we're gonna whittle away till we have this last bit. So one fourth had pickles. Let's make fourths, okay? So we have pickles. Now half of the remaining, so when you look at this, you go, hmm, well, I can't do half out of three unless I split it. So can you do that? Of course you can. If I have fourths in the beginning, what if you just split them all? And now we have eighths. So that two eighths, so if you look at this, and I wanna get eighths, take the one fourths and it would be two eighths. Isn't that two pieces? Yes, it is. So one fourth of the 240 have pickles, but also you could say two eighths have pickles, same thing. So we got the pickles done. Now half of the remaining burgers had onions. Now I can see if I have these six pieces that half of the remaining have onions. So how many are there? there we need a half of six eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six out of eight. Half of the six eighths. Now you can also cross cancel and simplify here by using this two as your divisor. Two divided by two is one, six divided by two is three. So when you look, you see that three eighths have onions and also three eighths don't have onions. So now label the last part, the what's left Okay, so three-eighths are left. And if you want to know exactly how many, then we have to find the fraction of the whole. So it's going to be three-eighths of, and I'm going to put a dot here for the multiplication this time, 240 cheeseburgers. Now since I have 240 and it's a whole number, put it over one. Okay, now if I have 240 and I'm looking at eight, and if I was to multiply three times 240, that would just give me an enormous number, and I don't wanna do that if I don't have to. You might recognize that 24 is a multiple of eight. 
So if you use 8 as a divisor, 8 divided by 8 is 1, and 8 goes into 24 three times, so 240 30 times, now I have a much easier problem to solve. So it's going to be 3 times 30 for 90 over 1, which is 90, and that would be 90 cheeseburgers. Burgers had tomato. Okay, so yum. And that is your final answer for there. But don't cross it out like I did. So 90 cheeseburgers had tomato. Okay, I hope these are helpful. You click subscribe and come back again. And we will do lots of math together. Okay, Deshaun. Deshaun is sorting his rock collection. Two-thirds of the rocks are metamorphic, and three-fourths of the remainder are igneous rocks. If the three rocks left over are sedimentary, how many rocks does Deshaun have altogether? So let's make a tape diagram and divide it into sections, and they're asking you to work your way backwards to figure out the whole. Okay, so we've got a tape diagram. And we're going to break it down into pieces. Two-thirds are one type. So we're going to have three sections. And these are metamorphic. You can abbreviate if you want. It says they're metamorphic, so we believe. Three-fourths of the remainder. So it's three-fourths of one-third. This is the remainder, and we're going to divide it into sections because three of them are igneous, ig, okay? Now, if the three rocks left over that are not igneous and not metamorphic, if these are sedimentary, okay, said, then how many rocks does Dishon have? And so now, thank goodness you made a tape diagram because it should become clear that if three is one-fourth of this one-third, then three times four is 12, okay? And so now, if I have this is 12, then 12 times three would be your total number of rocks uh, in all. Deshaun has 36 rocks in all. There you go. Okay, so it's it's by piecing it all out and looking at this wonderful little picture that your tape diagram made, it helps you solve. Let's do another one. Milan puts one-fourth of her lawn mowing money in savings. Sounds like it's time for a tape diagram. Shocker. Okay, one-fourth in savings. We should probably read the rest of it. And uses half of the remaining money to pay back her sister. If she has $15 left, how much did she have at first? Same approach. You're going to take it in pieces and then work your way back. Okay? So one-fourth in savings. Save. Half of the remaining. Now, again, we have three pieces left. So I need half of three. So I'm going to have to split into pieces so I can get the half of the remaining, okay, to pay back. Okay, now if she has $15 left, if three units make $15, then one unit would be what? 15 divided by three. So one unit is actually how much? $5. So now you can put this in here and see how many units you have and then find out how much she had at first, which is our question. So how many pieces are there again? And if you had fourths at the beginning, now you have eight because it's two, four, six, eight. So it's going to be five times eight units for $40. So there you go. Milan had $40 at first. Boop, boop, and a lovely little cloud. All right. Do click subscribe and come back again.
Let's do this one. Oh, this is fun. Parks is wearing several rubber bracelets. One third of the bracelets are tie dye, one sixth are blue, and one third of the remainder are camouflage. If Parks wears two camouflage bracelets, how many bracelets does he have on? It sounds like we need to kind of work our way back and use a tape diagram. Let's make one. First of all, one third of the bracelets are tie dye. Divided into three sections, the denominator tells you, and then let's label it tie dye. T I E D Y E, tie dye. Okay, now noticing that we have a different denominator here, one sixth are blue. So if I divide my uh, thirds into sixths so that I can find one of these, this could be the blue section because that's just one out of six pieces, okay? And one third of the remainder. So how many pieces do I have now? I have sixths, and so we have one third of the remainder. One out of three pieces are camouflage. Okay, so if this is camo, and that's one piece, now we have a number to go with our camo. Now if Parks wears two camouflage bracelets, so give that a label. How many bracelets does he have on? So now that you know that there are six pieces, you can do a simple multiplication and have two times six for 12 bracelets. And Parks has 12 bracelets on. Okay, because it would be two all the way across, two, 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 two. Okay, these don't seem too bad today. Not too bad. Last one, we're already there. Ahmed spent one third of his money on a burrito and a water bottle, two things. The burrito cost two times as much as the water and the burrito cost $4. How much money does Ahmed have left? So if we look at the tape diagram, again, all these should have a tape diagram. He spends one third of his money on the burrito and the water bottle. Okay, so this is his snack. But the burrito costs two times as much as the water. So basically, this is a ratio of two to one. So the burrito is twice what the water is. So this amount that he spent is in three sections. Two for the burrito, one for the water. Now the burrito, if we say burrito, burrito, water, and that's to represent the cost, not the actual number of items, and that the burrito costs $4, all of a sudden you have a little picture of how to break this out. How much money does Ahmed have left? Left, okay. Well, how much, how many sections would we have if we were making equal sections? And what is one unit worth? Okay, so now you can basically just say if each one, four units is two, then uh, four divided by two is two. So two dollars for each section, and we have three, six, nine sections, or that was the total, but he already spent some. So we have uh, three, six, and so this is how much he has left, which would be $12. Ah, oops. Med has $12 left after buying his delicious snack. And that's it. That is all for lesson 16. So I super hope this was helpful and come back again. We will see you on the next video. Actually, I won't see you, <laughs> uh, but you will hear me. So I will talk to you on the next video. Bye for now.